Want to deploy an XJR project on Netlify but stuck on runtime error? In this video, I'll show you two ways you can deploy an XJS app. Let's get started. Here is my Next.js project already running on the localhost 3000. Now I'm gonna exit from the development mode. Now I'm gonna run the command npm run build. Everything looks great and there are no build errors. I have already committed this code to GitHub, so we are ready to deploy Netlify. Go to Netlify and please log into Netlify.com and go to the project section. Click on add new project. Click on import an existing project. In this, there are three steps. One is to connect to a GitHub provider, select repository and configure project and deploy. My code is in GitHub, so I click on this GitHub. You need to authorize this. After authorize, select the repository. I'll select this. After selecting your repo, give your project name. It will use this project name as your URL. So I'll give it as e-commerce deploy. This project name is available. Now the next JS project is automatically detect. So it will automatically fill up the commands. In the build settings, my branch is main. For the base directory, you need to leave it as blank. Our code is in the root directory, as you can see here. For the build command, it is npm run build. The publish directory is dot next. So if you have any add environment variables, you can add here. So click on import from dot env and paste the .env file. After pasting it, click on deploy e-commerce. Come down. In the production deploys, click on this. You can see the deploy log here. It is initializing. It, it takes two minutes to deploy. Initializing is completed. Now it started to build. Now the deployment is completed. So click on this open production deploy. As you can see, our project is deployed. Let's say your project is structured differently. In this case, I have a repo called node payment where the front end next app is inside a client folder. As you can see here. So we follow the same steps until the build settings. So go to the projects, click on the add new project, import an existing projects. So I'll click on the GitHub. Same steps are followed. So on unit authorize, and I have the different repo now that is node payment. So let's give a project name as e commerce next JS deploy. This name is available. I'll give branch name as main and base directory as client because the next JS is in the client folder. So I'll give build command as npm run build. For the public directly, give it as dot next. So you can add the environmental variable and I'll click on import variable. I will paste here and click on deploy. Now your project is in progress. So I'll click on this deploy logs. You can see the deploy logs here. Now everything's complete. Building, deploying, everything is complete now. So I'll click on this open production deploy. But it says page not found. So everything's fine, but the deployment's not done. So I will go to this options and I will click on deploy setting. Go to build and deploy. Here you need to set the runtime. So I'll click on this configure and I will set the runtime as next.js. So let's click on the save and go to deploys. So click on this trigger deploy. Click on deploy project without catch. Now it's auto detect the next.js project. All are completed. So I'll click on this open production deploy. Now the website is live and that's how you deploy an XJS app in Netlify. Whether it is auto detected or not, if this helped you fix the runtime issues, don't forget to like, share and drop a comment with your questions. More deployment tutorials and backend tricks coming soon. See you in the next one.